Welcome back to Underrated Bookies. I'm your guy and I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry. Today I'm going to talk to you about another film. I think it's underrated. It's part of the Police Story sequel. Lockdown Police Story starring Jackie Chan. Jing Tian and Lu Yui. And it's a spin off sequel to the franchise Police Story work. It takes on a darker tone, more serious, and Jackie Chan plays a different character in the film where he plays a police officer. And I forgot the character's name, the new character in the film. I'm just calling him Jackie, but new character. Where he tries to meet his daughter at some sort of club to, uh, you know, talk to her about certain family scenarios. And, uh, you know, he's basically trying to reconnect with his daughter. His daughter um, rebelled against him, was dating some cr crooked, crazy guy at a club and then turns out the club owner takes everybody hostage and has some sort of diabolical plan against certain people and trying to get revenge and Jackie Chan's character is trying to rescue everybody including his daughter from a madman it's a hostage film so it builds up and then there's a hostage situation that takes a good chunk of the film and gets out i'm gonna straight up and say this this movie was actually pretty good not bad but i thought the editing was terrible i thought the editing i don't know if the if there was a longer version of this movie i keep seeing 108 minutes or you know an hour and 47 minutes around like 90 minutes a little over and I'm wondering if there was more footage to the film. If maybe maybe there was more drama into it. Because I feel like the editing was kind of cut up in a choppy way. Where it felt, I don't know, a little bit jumbled. I actually kind of like the handheld darker vines. Some of the action scenes in it were actually well shot. That you could see the action. Actually, you know, there, there were some good moments here. But I thought the editing was just weird. Um... Like, it felt rushed and very jumbled around. But beside that, Jackie Chan gives another great performance in this film. Uh, where he plays a detective officer and then, you know, a father trying to reconnect with his, with his daughter. And then when he gets in that situation where he's trying to rescue her and then, you know, find it out that, you know, the hostage inside the club are actually brought there for a specific reason because you have a bunch of different kinds of people in this club showing up and the main bad guy did it intentionally for a certain specific reason which you know it's weird. I'll, 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 I'll just say for the accidental death of his sister during an event that happened some time ago uh, kind of around the same night, Jackie Chan. Much not, well, not the same night, but it happened a few years ago, where Jackie Chan was also present. So he's trying to set out revenge against anybody who may have some sort of involvement regarding his sister, and they all try to remember that day, and then. It's it, it's 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 a very interesting way of this movie that I thought it really took that hostage situation and kind of made it into like a whodunit film. Um, the girl that was in Jane, uh, Jean Tian, she was also phenomenal in this. She's pretty, very phenomenal. I actually like her performance in this. That she really was this. They said her character could be kind of gothic and resistance against Jackie Chan. And really, she's trying to dive into that world. Her, well, Jackie Chan, her father in the movie. But she's really trying to dive into that world because she's trying to basically you know, escape from her dad. She doesn't like her dad. She doesn't like how 
things ended with him and then, and, you know, something involving the, their mother. And I believe, if I remember correctly, the mother died of some sort of sickness and Jackie Chan was not present, but she was. So there is that abandonment feel that she, she feels. So she's looking forward to another guy and doing a bunch of drugs and all that until he, you know, reveals himself to be, you know, a bad guy. She tries to, she has, she has a realization of what she's done, what she kind of got involved with. It. So it's actually also interesting that dating back certain to certain, to, to that certain event of the antagonist's sister, that you see these characters change throughout time and uh they kind of see where their lives are to see how much they kind of you know it, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see how they change throughout the course of the film and it's actually interesting that for that like for that i actually like that they would go through flashbacks of different characters' perspectives of how they re remember certain things about that particular event. And then it becomes too chaotic to where you don't know really what actually happened. I think one character uh, kind of, I think one character officially confirms what really happened at that event, but I think it's still left to, um, to the um, audience's um, interpretation. Um, they have quite a few good action sequences here. Um, my favorite one would be the last one where there's a bunch of explosions inside the club and then uh, the main bad guy tries to escape with uh, Jackie Chan's daughter. There's a good shot. Jackie Chan hops over um, some, uh, leaps over like a little compartment that leads into an elevator and rides it on the ele uh, elevator to follow his daughter. Though I feel like there's a lot of scenes in this movie that was missing. I feel like a lot of it was condensed and it actually had me concerned because I really didn't like the, this, the, I, I didn't like how messy the edit feels. And I do, I am aware that sometimes when the film from China gets released here, they do cut out some of the ex extra stuff just to try to make it fit more for American audiences or just international. Um, that's probably my main gripe about this movie. That it felt very, like the editing I thought, okay, the editing I thought was bad. I thought the editing was kind of just jumbled around and cut up. Like it felt rushed. It felt we didn't get enough time to build up certain dramatic scenes and they were just dramatic just because it was directed directed well, but I felt like the movie didn't take enough time to really develop a lot of character and a lot of momentum and build up. Um, so I'm curious what was cut out and what was those scenes. Um, if there was an extended version or you know delete scenes of this movie somewhere, I would like to watch it. Because this movie was not not too bad. And I actually like certain scenes where they were how they would edit certain sequences where they would edit some of the action scenes as flashbacks, which sometimes might hurt the movie a little bit. But it, it just like it's just like it is. I would I kind of like it that they would refer certain things that they would talk about regarding to the story and then learning each other uh, as characters. That they would put that they would put those sequences in flashbacks, so oh, that was actually kind of unique, and that was something I haven't really seen a lot. But it was actually kind of cool. Uh, Police story lockdown. Have you seen it? Comment below. Let me know if you have, and let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.